हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पी देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डे इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग गो टू गूगल डॉट कॉम and search to naropinions.com and open this site here you can see the latest news dinar opinions and dinar guru updates on a single page so visit this site for more information article iraq increases reserves at imf by 50% quote iraqi cabinet approved an increase in iraq's quota at the international monetary fund imf by 831.9 million special drawing rights SDR equivalent to 1.45 trillion Iraqi dinars 1.1 billion dollars based on the exchange rate as of October 8 2024 this 50 percent increase will enhance the country's voting power within the IMF the IMF created SDRs as an international reserve asset to supplement member countries official reserves They serve as a potential source of liquidity for IMF member nations. Emo last week a series of meetings have been occurring with banks. Emo the Central Bank of Iraq is sending out a beacon apostrophe dot 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 a submarine ping this data. Information intel is coming and it's now coming fast to all these US banks. They went from denying and saying it's a scam to they're saying we'll talk to you soon community comment hcl is completed and fully funded today we're up next hcl stands for hydrocarbon law it is the law that divvies up the profits from baghdad's sale of oil with profits going to the other parts of iraq there has always been a back and forth about how much of a profit percentage the other parts of iraq would receive have you ever waited months for a paycheck Imagine waiting for it a whole year. But what if I told you there's some news that might just change that? Today, we're diving into an announcement from the Kurdistan government. They just announced that they will pay the September salaries in October. This could mean big things for the region's economy. Could this be a sign that money is finally moving? Let's explore why this shift might be happening and what it could mean for the future. First off, Let's put this in perspective. For years, Kurdistan has been behind on salary payments, sometimes up to a year or more. But why was that happening? There were multiple reasons. Economic challenges, political complexities, and sometimes global market fluctuations. These delays affected not just government employees but the entire regional economy. Now, fast forward to today. a big change has occurred october and salaries for september are already being paid that's a major leap forward especially for those who depend on these funds so what triggered this change one key element could be the hcl the hcl or hydrocarbon law aims to fairly distribute oil revenues it's a crucial piece of legislation for kurdistan given its rich oil reserves And here's the intriguing part some believe that the HCL is finally being implemented but why all the secrecy around it well governments often keep such sensitive information under wraps for strategic reasons ensuring smooth implementation without public and market panic is vital but back to the present what does this mean for the common person when salaries are on time confidence grows people start spending more stimulating the economy markets become more stable could this be the start of a new era for kurdistan on the other hand we need to consider possible challenges inflation political disagreements and global economic shifts are always on the horizon yet this move could signify that kurdistan is keen on taking steps to stabilize the region's economy Imagine a time when your salary arrives like clockwork every month. That's a future many are hoping for. But here's a thought, 
What about the international investors? Seeing timely payments and the HCL in progress might encourage them. After all, stability breeds confidence, right? So far, we've talked about the effect on the regional economy and potential future impacts. But what's the human side of this story? Stories of teachers, doctors, and workers who can now plan their lives better. This move doesn't just represent financial stability but also hope. Hope for better living standards, education, and infrastructure. A real shot at improved quality of life. Now, we know this could also mean structural changes in the governance of resources. Governments are now encouraged to work transparently and efficiently. This sets the stage for more than just economic growth. It's a chance for social advancements too. What if we see more of such proactive measures? Could Kurdistan lead by example in the region? There's much to keep an eye on here. So, what do you think about this development? Will it spark further positive changes for Kurdistan? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do leave a comment down below. And if you found this video insightful, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates and deep dives into impactful stories. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.